Wensleydale, in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales National Park, where real Yorkshire Wensleydale cheese has been produced since the 12th century. Today that tradition carries on, thanks to the Wensleydale Creamery at Hawes. The creamery's importance to the local rural economy is demonstrated by a network of milk supply contracts with more than 40 upland farms within a 15 mile radius of its base. In fact, it's the milk from these farms, where the cows graze in the sweet limestone meadows, which gives real Yorkshire Wensleydale cheese its special creamy flavour. Every day, every last drop of milk is collected and brought here to the Wensleydale Creamery at Hawes, home of real Yorkshire Wensleydale. Today, real Yorkshire Wensleydale cheese is still handcrafted to time-honoured recipes. When the milk arrives from the farms, it's pasteurised, then cooled and transferred into 1,000 gallon milk vats. These will make half a tonne of cheese each. A naturally occurring bacteria is added to act as a starter culture, which turns the lactose in the milk into lactic acid. This sours the milk and gives the cheese its unique flavour. The milk is stirred and allowed to ripen for an hour and a half before the addition of rennet. Rennet is a kind of fungus which is suitable for vegetarians. It's stirred in and allowed to set for roughly 45 minutes to coagulate the cheese so that it forms into a semi-solid jelly or junket. Stirrers separate the solids into pieces called curds and liquid called whey. The curds and whey are heated slightly to harden the outer crust of the curds and trap in some of the moisture. Then the liquid whey is drained away. A sample is taken to the on-site laboratory and each batch of the cheese is tested to guarantee the consistency and quality. Meanwhile, back in cheese production, salt is added to increase flavour, expel excess whey and act as a preservative. The cheese is then fed through a cheese mill to chop it into small pieces. Moulds of varying sizes are filled by hand and the moulds are then pressed for up to three days to shape the cheese and remove any excess moisture. After being removed from the moulds, the cheese is wrapped in muslin bandages and left to mature in a cold, dry store. Wensleydale's official cheese grader regularly checks the maturing cheeses. The look, smell and taste must always be of a consistent quality. Real Yorkshire Wensleydale cheese is then distributed throughout the world by specialist grocers, quality delicatessens, supermarkets and online. The creamery also has a reputation for innovation with its repertoire including Wensleydale and cranberries, stem ginger and onion and chives and mango and papaya. Real Yorkshire Wensleydale continues to win worldwide awards and of course enjoys the support of the most famous cheese eater in the world, the wacky inventor Wallace Wensleydale, who along with his faithful sidekick Gromit has championed Wensleydale in their adventures even when others weren't quite as enthusiastic. Oh, why don't you come in? We were just about to have some cheese. Oh no, not cheese. Sorry, it brings me out in a rash. I can't stand the stuff. Not even Wensleydale. It's easy to see why, throughout the centuries to the modern day, the goodness and popularity of real Yorkshire Wensleydale has prevailed. <laughs>